So you know your destination and we found the best value for flights. It's time to think about the type of accommodation we want to book when away. Dexter is going to Lanzarote for a week. Here are the options for accommodation. Self-catering is £313 per person. This means Dexter will also have to buy all his food on top of that. Half board is £437 per person and that includes breakfast and dinner. So Dexter will also have to pay for his lunch. Or he could go all inclusive, which means he gets all meals included in the price of £531 per person. And here are the average prices of meals in Lanzarote. We need to help Dexter work out which accommodation is better value for money. Let's start by working out how much it will cost Dexter if he chose the self-catering accommodation. We know it's £313 per person for a week. What about the cost of food? He will need money for breakfast, lunch and dinner for the seven days he's there. So breakfast altogether will be £5 multiplied by 7, which is £35. Lunch is £7.50 per day, so I must multiply that by 7. Well, £7 multiplied by 7 is £49, and 50 pence multiplied by 7 is £3.50. So lunches will cost £52.50 for the week. And finally dinner, £19 multiplied by 7. Well, I know 20 multiplied by 7 is £140, and then I'll need to subtract £7, which is £133. Now I've worked out the cost of each meal for the week, I can add them together. £133 plus 35 is £168, plus £52.50 is £220.50. So for a week, the food will cost £220.50 and the self-catering accommodation is £313. So in total, it will cost Dexter £533.50. We could have worked that out a different way. Instead of multiplying the cost of each meal by seven and then adding them together, we can find the total cost of food per day by adding £5, £7.50 and £19 together, which is £31.50. And then we can multiply that by 7 to work out the cost for one week, which is £220.50. So in total, Dexter will have to pay £533.50. Let's work out the cost if Dexter chose to go half board. As breakfast and dinner are included in the price, this means Dexter will just need extra money for lunch. Lunch is £7.50 per day, so we must multiply that by 7, which is £52.50, and then add that to the cost of the accommodation. £437 plus £52.50 is £489.50. So if Dexter chose to go half board, it would cost £489.50, including lunch. Now we don't need to work out anything for the all-inclusive accommodation because you get all your meals included in the price. So including food, it will cost £533.50 for self-catering, £489.50 for half board, and £531 for all-inclusive, which means half board is the best value for money. Ah, that's interesting. It's important to think about those extra charges, such as buying food, when choosing the best accommodation, as initially it looked like self-catering was the cheapest. Alex is going to Corfu in Greece for five days. Here are the options for her accommodation. Self-catering is £239 per person. Half board is £387 per person. And all-inclusive is £430 per person. 
we also have the average price for meals. And we need to work out which is better value for money. Oh wait, there's been a last minute deal. There's 20% off if you choose to go all inclusive. Ooh, that sounds like a great deal. Can you work out which accommodation is the best value for money when also taking into account the price of food? Pause the video and have a go. How did you get on? Let's start by working out the cost for self-catering, including the money Alex will need for food. So with self-catering, no food is included in the price, so Alex will need to buy breakfast, lunch and dinner every day she's there. And we're told she's going for five days. So £4.50 plus £16.50 plus £9 is £30. Alex will need £30 a day for food. And we can multiply that by five to work out that she will need £150 for food while she's away. If we add that to the price of the accommodation, £150 plus £239 is £389. Let's have a look at the half board accommodation. So it costs £387 with breakfast and dinner included, which means Alex will just need to buy lunch each day. Lunch is £16.50 a day, so we must multiply that by 5 to work out the cost for the time she's away. Hmm, how did you work this out? I'm going to partition £16.50, so 10 multiplied by 5 is £50, £6 multiplied by 5 is £30, 50 pence multiplied by 5 is £2.50. Altogether that is £82.50 and we can then add that to the cost of the accommodation to see the total price would be £469.50. Now this time we do need to work out the cost of the all-inclusive package as there's 20% off. So how did you work out the reduced price? You may have used a bar model to help you visualise this. The bar is split into 10 equal parts, the whole is £430 and we want to work out 20%. 430 divided by 10 is 43 which is 10%, so 20% is £86. We can then subtract that from 430 to see the price is now £344. You may have worked it out a different way. We know there's 20% off, which means the new price will be 80% of the original price. If 10% is 43, we can multiply that by 8, which is £344. So now we've found the cost of each accommodation, including the price of food. Let's see which is better value for money. In total, it would cost Alex £389 to go self-catering, £469.50 to go half board, and £344 to go all-inclusive. So with the offer, we can see that all-inclusive is the best value for money. Now it's your turn. If you'd like some extra practice with working out the best value, then pause the video here and have a go at the accommodation worksheet. Here's activity number three. Research three types of accommodation at your chosen destination. You may want to use travel brochures, the internet, or the accommodation template that we've provided. Work out the average cost of food per day and see which accommodation is the best value for money. Don't forget to include the cost of food and check if there are any deals on. You can record the accommodation you've chosen on this worksheet provided.